Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capillon Jr. Wishing you a very nice day. Now, uh, as I promised, uh, this will be my continuation for my BMS offline, uh, offline uh, project configuration. Okay, now I promised my, in my last uh, video tutorial that I will try to complete the graphics for the twin exhaust fan for battery charger room, okay? Now, as you can see here, I already completed it. Then for the monitoring and control points for EF1, I already completed. What we have here is the hand of auto status. Okay, now the default value is manual. Okay, now I have here the start stop command, default value is off. Now I have here the run status. Uh, default value is off, likewise the airflow and the trip status normal, okay? Meaning if it is normal, there is no trip condition in the motor. Now, uh, likewise, I have the same points for my EF2. Now, uh, once you created your graphics, you can test your graphics, how it will respond to the real time values coming from the motor control and from the field devices that is uh, defined in our uh, DDC or in our controllers, okay? Uh, I just hope you will be uh, reviewing all my video tutorials so you will be able to understand what I'm doing here, okay? Now, uh, what I would like to show you is how are you going to test your graphics, okay? Now, in this software, you can test your graphics when you go to view, Okay, view menu, then you will go to test. Okay, so we will test it. Then you will go to preview. Okay, so you can preview the, uh, how your graphics responds to real time values. Okay, now I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so for better view, uh, viewing, okay, now here. Now I will try to adjust my screen. Okay, let me adjust it. Okay. Now here, uh, under the test window, I have all here the uh, points, okay? So I have here all the points, okay? Now what we want to do is to test uh, the response of the graphics based on the real-time value, okay? Now first, I would like to show you the uh, response of EF1, okay? So let's first, check the response of these graphics when the selector switch in the motor control is in the automatic okay now uh, when uh, when the selector switch is in automatic it will give a signal of one to our ddc or a close contact to our ddc to our uh, universal input that monitors the selector switch okay now i will simulate that someone put the selector switch in automatic so it will give a one signal, as you can see immediately, the EF1 auto status uh, changes to auto, meaning the selector switch is already in auto position. Okay, let's say someone put it in off. Okay, now as you can see, it goes to manual or hand position. Now as a BMS engineer, you will be the one to decide if you will use manual or hand, okay? Now for me, I'm using manual. Okay, so meaning, as you can see here, the information being conveyed is EF1 is auto status is manual, meaning the selector switch is in off or manual position. Okay, now as I said, when the equipment is in automatic position or the selector switch is in auto, that's the only time that BMS will take the control. Okay, later on, I will show you how are we going to do the control logic programming for this, okay? Then I will try also to simulate so we can see the response of our program, okay? Now, uh, let's say, so if it is in manual, BMS will not uh, take the control. Now let's put it in automatic again. Okay, now it's in auto. Okay, now let me simulate our control program give an on command, okay? So one, Okay, so as you can see, the graphics changes also. So meaning our DDC give the start stop command, then I will say here, okay, run status. 
I will say one. So as you can see, run status become on. Now again, it's up to you if you will use on, off, or run, or stop. You are the BMS engineer. You can always uh, decide. But during testing and commissioning, the consultant may give some comments. Maybe the consultant wants uh, on off status, okay, or on off uh, content of that uh, text. So. Anyway, it's very seldom that the consultant will try to interfere with the BMS engineer. Uh, what is important for consultant is how the system work, uh, your control logic uh, will respond to the sequence of operation given by the, or approved by the consultant, okay? Now let's simulate the airflow. Okay, let me say there is already an airflow. Okay, meaning, uh, the differential pressure switch installed across the pan uh, sends a flow, so it will give an close signal or one signal to our BDC. Okay, now let's say there is a trip. Okay, let's say simulate the trip. Okay, as you can see, the this snippet uh, dynamic text changes to trip. Okay, so let's say we remove the trip. Okay, it will go back to normal. Okay, so let's uh, let's show some animation with our uh, fan. Okay, so let's say I will. There's already one there. Okay, as you can see, it will become green, meaning it's already running. Then there's an airflow. Then you will see here the animation. Okay, so when there is airflow, meaning the fan is already rotating okay driven by a motor it's either belt driven or directly connected to the shop of the motor okay then if there is trip okay, then there will be a red uh, color in the uh, fan okay so this is how you are going to test the uh, graphics with the real time value Okay, now uh, I will try to show you how I did this uh, snippet changing to auto or manual. Okay, so I will go out of the test, then I will could go back to design. Okay, now I will show you here. So this is our snippet. Okay, so this is for EF2. Okay, this object, as you can see, I mean the object, uh, I mean the object window okay now i selected this snippet okay so as you can see here it is highlighted here then i can collapse okay now i have here one bind okay so that is my bind for the uh, hand of auto status for ef2 now for this object i will try to create another bind new then i will create bind okay then i have to use the same bind name Okay, let me just copy this, control C, then bind, I will, the name here, okay, I will use the same name, okay. Now, in this bind, okay, I will create the new convert text, okay, convert text, meaning uh, it will respond to the dynamic uh, or real-time value from the field. Okay, so I will put a name for my convert text. Okay, when it is active, so I will use the active name. Okay, then the behavior. What will be the behavior? Okay, so the behavior attribute value, when it is one or active, so it will be, okay, I will use this auto. Okay, so what is the equivalent signal for this one? So when my DDC receive one or close contact, the attribute value or this one will change to auto. Okay, now let me change this one. Okay, now make sure this bind the attribute target will be the content. Content is the content. Okay, so again, I will create. Okay, wait a minute. I will create another convert text. Okay, this time my name for this is in active okay so behavior what will be the behavior so attribute what will be the uh, behavior okay if it is inactive then i will say manual then signal is equal to zero 
Okay. Okay. Now I will try to create another bind, the same bind, new bind. Okay. Now the name of the bind, you have to use the, the same bind. Okay. Bind name, use the same bind name, control C. Okay. Go back to the bind. Then in the name, control B. Okay. Now again, uh, what will be the attribute that I will try to play? So I will try to play the color or the stroke. Okay. So now I need to create, I need to create the convert text value or convert text. Okay. Now, as usual, you have to make this one active. Active. When it is active, what is the attribute value? So when it is active, what is the color? Okay, this is for the stroke or the color. So I want it green. Okay. Now sigma signal is equals to one. Okay. Okay. Then again, create the in active convert text. Okay. Now a name. This one is the in active. Okay. What will be the behavior or the stroke color? So I will just be using this. Okay, the signal is equal to zero. So when it is zero, the color will be like this and the text will be manual, okay? Okay, let's save it. Now let me check it. Okay, so let me see. Okay, let me test. I will go to test. Okay, then preview. Okay, now let's adjust the screen. So I'm showing you for EF2. Okay, I have shown you how I did the uh, convert text uh, so that it would change from auto to manual and the convert text attribute the stroke so it will change from green to the uh, dark gray color. Okay, now I can check this one to show you. Okay, then this is the hand of auto, isn't it? So I will try to one simulate it. Okay, now I there is some problem here. Let's go back. Let's go back here to test because it's showing one instead of. Okay, now let's go back here. The problem here is okay, this one uh, presentation. Okay, so this one, let's change also the presentation, the format. This one, presentation, let's use the presentation also. Okay. Let's save it. Let's check again. Okay. Test. Preview. Okay, as you can see here, it's already showing the correct information. So when it is in auto, EF2 is in auto, then it will show, okay, let me change this to zero. So it's big, show to manual, okay? So let's test this, uh, all this in, let's put it all to one. So we will see the response. Okay. Okay, so this is how are you going to create your uh, BMS graphics, a simple one. Okay, in my next tutorial, I will put more objects in the graphics so it will look more professional. Maybe I have to show the room because this is the exhaust fan for battery charger room. Then I will show some ducting where it is sucking all the fumes in the battery charger room. It will be better out. Okay, so next uh, tutorial, I will include more objects in these graphics. Okay, so once again, I hope uh, I have given you some idea how are you going to design as a BMS engineer your uh, twin exhaust fan for battery charger room BMS graphics. So once again, uh, thank you very much for watching my video tutorial. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And you can always 
click the notification bell. You can leave a comment. I'd like you to leave a comment. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to put your comment. And I will be very happy to answer your question within my capacity. I'm not claiming any expertise here. I'm just trying to share what I have learned and my experience, what experience I've gained from the projects. Okay, so once again, thank you. And Santos Capilan Jr. Uh, saying God bless us all and bye for now.